All right, it is time to find out what to watch this weekend. That's right, and today the much-anticipated sequel, Inside Out 2, hits theaters today. And, of course, ABC 10's Marquez Allen caught up with some of those stars. He joins us live from the Pixar studio all the way in Emeryville with more. Good morning, Mark. Yeah, good morning to you guys. I didn't know if you knew, in our own backyard, right here in Emeryville, one of the most consistently Academy Award winning studios in the history of film, Pixar Animation Studios, right there. So whether it's Toy Story, Monsters, Inc., uh, Finding Nemo, Finding Dory, no matter what your favorite Pixar movie is, I guarantee you there's a new one that's going to be a contender. It's Inside Out 2. It's the sequel, of course, to Inside Out 1, the movie that won the Academy Award back in 2015. This one, I'm going to go ahead and lay my reputation on the line. It is an Academy Award nominee. I think it's going to take it. Uh, reprising her role is, of Joy is Amy Poehler, who is phenomenal, and joined by Maya Hawke, uh, Ethan Hawke, and Uma Thurman's daughter. If you watch Stranger Things, you know her from there. Now you're going to know her as anxiety and all of her baggage. Take a look. Oh, there's so many good moments. I love, um, I love when anxiety shows up with ha holding all the baggage, like all those bags. That really made me laugh hard. I love embarrassment and the joy embarrassment exchange, where like they can't get a handshake going because it's it's going so badly. I love um, the great Paula Pell who voices one of the characters of the um, in the mom in the mom's head when she says, "Well, that's a preview of the next ten years." Like, like all these like zingers in the. There's so many good hard laughs. When I was 13 years old, embarrassment and anxiety filled the room. In fact, that's all you'd see inside my head. What was the 13-year-old you? Who was there? Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Quite a loaded yeah. question. Yeah. It made me think about what you just said. It made me think about that moment where embarrassment lays on top of the console mm -hmm. and then sadness goes and is like, oh, I got you, big guy, and puts her hand down, you know, and finishes the whole console together. And I, that, because that moment made me laugh and like just felt so true that like you know shame will fill you up and whatever parts it can't reach if you get filled with sadness yeah. and so i feel like probably when i was 13 years old s sadness embarrassment anxiety and like maybe a, a little joy somewhere Right, right. Little Joy yeah. was somewhere to doing her best, you know, fighting through all that. This friendship between embarrassment and That's sadness is a really unexpected friendship. It's I really love cute. it. I promised I wasn't going to cry, but okay. seeing anxiety and joy hanging out together in harmony makes me so happy. <laughs> nice to see you. Thank you. Hey, it was so awesome to hang out with the two of them. By the way, I didn't catch up with them at Pixar Animation Studios. That interview I actually did in the all-new Pixar Hotel uh, at Disney's California Adventure and Disneyland. So uh, if you're a big fan of the Pixar stuff, uh, a lot of artifacts and art created right there on our own Pixar campus, located down south now as a part of that hotel. Uh, all right, back to the movie. I love this movie. If you can't tell, uh, I get very emotional talking about it. By the way, anxiety and all of her bad baggage literally that she brings that's one of a gazillion funny things in this movie that I won't spoil here but I'm gonna try to spoil them a little bit later on at 9 30 take a look we go deep inside the Pixar Animation Studios campus to catch up with an animator to catch up with all the voices behind this you're gonna love it I guarantee it I will give your money back not really but I do think you're gonna love it this weekend back to you so, Marcus Allen, when we talk about the different emotions, you know, from the first movie, all the new ones in the second one, do you have a favorite? I, I really do like embarrassment. I, I think because that, like, I uh, was embarrassment 24 hours a day, both to myself and my family, whenever I was coming of age. And uh, so I related considerably between that and anxiety. Yeah, this movie hooked me. Hey, Marcus Allen, I've never seen this movie. Is there a dreamer character in there? I feel like I was always dreaming as a kid. Oh. Uh, the, the anger does a lot of angry screaming, which is one of my favorite things. And by the way, Louis Black, who might be among the least kid-friendly stand-up comedians on the planet, is the voice of anger. And if you see the original, think he's funny there, you're going to think uh, he's even funnier here. He does a lot of screaming and a lot of yelling. So I suggest <laughs> you rent Inside Out 1 right now or catch it on Disney Plus and then see uh, Inside Out 2.
Well, All right, you know what? I do Sean subscribe. I I've, I've got Disney Plus. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to watch it on there. And why you associated my dreams with anger? I don't know. I'm going to see what's in this anger character now. <laughs> yeah, cute movie. Really, really cute. All right, Marcus.